Have you guys heard of the four to one rule when it comes to connecting with your teen girls and having an even better relationship with them? My name is Barb Steinberg. I'm a parent coach and a teen life coach for girls and a speaker on teen girl issues. And I speak about the four to one rule a lot when I do workshops or speaking engagements or in my parent coaching. And the idea of the four to one rule is this. For every one um, directive we give or criticism or instruction, we want to throw out four compliments or positives to counteract the one negative, so to speak. So um, some of you might be thinking uh, four to one. If I had to do that, I would be giving compliments 24 seven because I, I everything that comes out of my mouth is kind of telling my teenager what to do. So I know with the teen girls that I work with, they love to have that, that balance of less criticism in their eyes and more positive statements coming their way. So when you find yourself, you know, telling your teen what to do and, you know, you're asking her to empty the dishwasher, you didn't make your bed again today, look at your room, it's a total mess, get off your phone, how many times do I have to tell you? And those types of things are coming out of your mouth all the time. I know this because I live with a teenager. We really need to have a counterbalance and we need to have statements that outweigh those types of statements. So I know four to one might feel kind of lofty and kind of a big goal. So maybe it's even just two to one or maybe it's just start with one to one for every time that instructive, directive, criticism type thing comes out of your mouth, know that you've got one positive that you need to put out there too so that she can begin to feel that you do experience her in other ways, not just in the things that she's not doing well or not doing right or things that you wish would change about her. So you want her to be able to hear those positives so that not only will she get a different feeling about herself, that there's it's not like she's just always wrong and always messing up, but it will also give her a different experience of your relationship with her. She will get to feel and hear and see that you see her for more than just what she doesn't do well or do right. And she'll get to feel that you um, feel positively about her, even though she knows intellectually that you love her. Th these teenagers really need to feel that we like them. We don't just love them. And we can do that by these positive statements. So remember that four to one rule, make it a goal, a lofty goal, and see if you can get there. And let me know how it goes in the comments below. And if you found this idea, you know, if it resonates with you, I hope that you'll like the video. I hope that you'll share the video. There's more of this that can be found on my YouTube channel, Barb Steinberg. And if you're interested in parent coaching and receiving 101 support for you and your daughter so you can get ideas specific to your family, go ahead and contact me through my website, barbsteinberg.com. Have a great day, everybody.